Hi, we're back. This one is about, again, from Bay Bay. Uh, Bay Bay. Hey, baby. Wow, I love you, sweetie. This video's for you, because you sent me all them topics. Like you was writing me a book. But anyway, this one is... This one is, um... Do you still talk to your ex while you with someone new? You first. Okay, so... Of course, you have to think about in what way. If you're the friend type stuff, it's cool, but like, if you're not, then um, that's kind of bogus. Yeah, like for, so, I know people, you know. yeah, I know people who oh, want to be on some, <laughs> I know people who want to be on some like, oh yeah, I'm just friends with my ex and maybe or some just sitting there flirting, flirting out the ass 24 7. But they feel like, oh yeah, I love my girl, I love my girl I'm with. But they still can't, like, stop messing around with they ex or whatever. Yeah, and, um, okay, like with me, I, in the past, I've done that. Like, at one time, I, um, there was only one person who I, I don't know, it was cracking. She was one person I liked, but I never dated that person. And so all throughout me going with one person, I was still talking to that person. It was like not on a friend type basis. But now it's like I have to draw the line with what you're going to say to me because I don't like you like that and I like the person I'm with, you know. And I'm not just saying that because I'm on the phone with him either. <laughs> she's just saying it because she's on the phone with him, though. She don't want him to know that. I'm really <laughs> not. But, no, like, seriously, it, it just depends on what level you're on. You know, like, for me, it takes a lot for me to even settle down with somebody. It takes a whole lot. And, like, I've never really had, like, same situation. Um, was with that dude, Alex. And, like, me and my best friend, like, we used to always, like, go kiss and all that stuff. And I had to dead that as soon as I got with my, like, we would talk or whatever, but as soon as I got with my ex, I had to dead all that and, like, kissing and stuff. But we'd talk because I was my best friend. But, like, for me now, I just can't sit there and rush into no relationship. I just gotta, um, like, for me, I can't do it. And I, and I can't. You gotta be somebody special if you go get me to settle down. It's just because... I don't trust everybody, and I ain't gonna sit there and hop into a relationship with somebody, especially if I don't trust you. I'm like, what the hell? But, like, I doubt that I still talk to my ex. Like, no. Nah. Is that? The girl I like, I did the video about a cup, like, last, yesterday or whatever. Or Monday. No, that was yesterday. Yeah, the girl I did a video about yesterday. Like, I guess we're still friends. Yeah. We ain't really talk or whatever, but I guess we're supposed to be still friends, even though we still love each other, and I'm like, I wonder how that's going to work out if either one of us, well, more than likely if I get somebody new, because she ain't emotionally stable enough to get her own, I guess. Ignore the crackish person um, in the video with me. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how that works out. I mean, like, it's cool if y'all still talking about some friends, like, friendship type stuff yeah. and you, like, draw the lines, make your limit or whatever. Because then you have to think about the fact that if you don't draw the line or if you know your own self more than what it should be, what you, happens you when you get caught up with either person in. or with the person um, that you're trying to be on other things with. Right. So you leading one person on, and you basically hurt the other person, oh, and then you hurt mm. yourself in the process. It's just perfect. It's, it's too complicated. I just read a book about something like this situation. It's called A Stud's Love. I wish I could give you the um, author, but it's a really short book about like this thin, but it's good as hell. But it's basically about this girl who was married to one girl named Stephanie, but still she was fucking Stephanie's sister, Sabrina. And in the end, she ended up getting screwed over and almost got killed off the stuff because she was all grimy stuff. Like, oh, she loved Stephanie. She truly loved her. She was with her. But she met her twin sister, who looked almost exactly like her, but had a different attitude, and she just <coughs> couldn't resist. <coughs> so she ended up messing with her, and still, still, her girl got pregnant for her audience, but still was just messing with her sister, messing with everybody else. And, um, in the end, almost died because of the stuff. 
Like you can you can always like you can try to be that player player type person and it ain't gonna work to the soul. Some bad's gonna happen in the end, you need to quit all that. Grow the hell up and stop being a little game. Yeah. Calm that down, shot it. Nah. <laughs> but for real, you need to quit all that man. It ain't good. But y'all should cop that book. That book is good as hell. Amazon should gonna be your best friend. Looks like nine dollars. Or five. I don't remember. It was somewhere. It was low as hell. But y'all need to get that. I'm get, this is my little review on that book right about now. Good shit. Definitely read it. Must read. One of the best books I done read. Yeah. Next book I'm reading. This is the next book I'm gonna be reading for y'all. She just violated my lap. Shut the hell up. <laughs> it's next called Walk Like a Man. So I'll tell you how that is when I'm done with it. So yeah. Any last thing you gotta say to the viewers? Oh yeah, top that movie though, Aggressive. I just seen that and like I'm in love with Keisha Batista because of that thing. Which y'all know, y'all need to cop that. Um, I need to too. Um, when you wanna hit someone, just hug. Black power. That's just because we, we really own some stuff where we just want to <laughs> just hurt some people up in this place. Because people want to be phony. And so, <laughs> we try to handle it. <laughs> but yeah, family. What? I love you. What? That's her right there. That's because she's an aggressive and she binds her booty. Okay, give me a minute. Well, I will see y'all later. I'm going to try to explain this to this little soul person right here. We're going to pray for her, all right? That's what me love. Mwah.